Hello everybody, welcome back to my card making. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Jar of Flowers. And I'm going to be using that image and that image. The Happy Birthday is a random stamp. I don't know what stamp it set it came out. I found it loose in a box where I've got a few loose stamps. And I thought I'd use that. I think it came out of um, I don't know, I don't know where it come from. I cannot remember. That's why it was in a box. Besides going through my whole stamp collection. It must be a retired stamp. Anyway, to make this card I'm gonna change the colour. I'm going to use Melon Mambo. I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. There's some that's stuck on the inside. It's better. Uh, yeah, eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have got a piece of Melon Mambo at three and seven eighths by three inches, and a piece of white cardstock at three and seven eighths by three inches. Um, a piece of petal pink at two and three eighths by four and five eighths. So that's two and three eighths by four and five eighths. A piece of melon mambo at two and a quarter by four and a half. And then I have a piece of white at two and one eighth by four and three eighths. I'll do that. And I have a piece of melon bamboo at half an eight, half an inch, which I will trim down to go across there once I've stamped this bit, which is three eighths by. I think it will be. An inch or two inches. I'll measure it when I cut it down. Right, these two bits here I have already embossed. They're going to sit like that. I've already embossed with an embossing folder from Cuttlebug, and all it is is roses. Can you see that? You can. Just little tiny roses. And I thought I'd use that to emboss that. And that will sit on there. I've also got a piece, or I will have when I get it out, of white cardstock. There's only one there. At five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. Right. I don't need that, so I've already embossed. So that there. We're just going to do our stamping first so it can dry before I colour it in. Right, I've got Memento Ink Blank, black ink should I say, and my flowers. Right, if you're using photopolymer, like I say before, use your stamping mat. I'm not using one because I've got a thick wad of paper here, which is like a cushion and I'm going to place this as far at the top as I can and in the middle and there is my flowers right I've also got my stems right I'm not going to ink all the stems because my piece of card isn't long enough I'm just going to ink three quarters of it and I'm just going to place that down there like that. As you can see the join is not very good but that is why we put that across there so you can't see it. 
Right, and just put that to one side, get rid of this ink and bring in the Versafine and we're going to stamp our happy birthday on this thin bit and pray I get it straight. Oh, that's fine. And we'll just chop this off. And I'll tell you, that needs to be one and seven eighths. Is that right? Yeah, one and seven eighths for that by three eighths. Yeah by three eighths. So this will be two inches, which I'll cut there, and then this will sit nicely in there. Okay, get rid of that. Right, while that dries, we're going to glue these on. I'm going to glue the white bit first. Put plenty of glue on because it's embossed. Right, I'm going to put this at the bottom of the card. Like that. And then we're going to put the top piece on. sure it meets up. And that is our mat on as I call it. These will sit on there like that. So let's glue this on. going to get on there. Like that. And that will go on there once I put the white one on top. Right, to colour, oh, I'm going to glue this as well. So I've done everything else. And we'll put this on. that and straighten that up and that will sit across there nicely. I keep that there. Now let's put the dimensionals on. That's that ready. Right, bring the flowers back in, get rid of the rubbish, right, I have got my um, petal pink, light and dark, All right, I'm going to try and use the light, I might not be able to, oh. and all I'm doing with this is just roughly colouring them in but I'm using leaving a white 
um, like a shiny melt, so it's like a white. Circle, sort of, not not colouring it all in. I think that's it. I didn't need the dark. Well, you can only just see it, but it is just very faintly coloured in, in petal pink. Just the flowers, and that's all the colouring we're going to do. Maybe I should do it a bit darker. So it is quite pale, so bring this back in and just put some dark on it. And it's not working very well. It's better. All I'm going around is light around the edges with the dark. There we are. It's a little bit better. Can you see that better? I think you can. So we'll glue this. And this is going to get glued flat. On. I'll do it this way. Like. Like that. And then this piece I'll okay. get put between our stems. Straight. That's it. And that is our card for today. Quite an easy card. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Add the piece in the middle. A 
but you're all shouting at the screen. You forgot the middle piece. There you are. It's in. Alright, that is my card for today. Hope you like it. What colours do you like best? I like them both. Right, if you like my cards, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, share. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified, hopefully, of any videos I upload, which is usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.